Good afternoon. Thank you very much indeed for having us here. It's a great opportunity. My partner Rajan couldn't make it. I apologize for that. But before I start, uh, I want to thank Tim. Uh, I'm astounded by the amount of similarities that India and Brazil have. And that one visual which he showed, that wonderful visual about the flip-flops with a safety pin on it, get it done. I have done it when, I'm, when I was in school. Yeah, amazing. It is, it is truly astounding. Made my day. Thank you so much. Uh, so namaste, London. Or should I say namaskaram, vanakkam, satsriyakal. Uh, all these greetings are very warm, but they, but they show a very diverse greeting from India. It also shows that India is a, is a land of opportunity and a land of contrast. Now, everybody knows that it is indeed a land of opportunity, so I'm going to breeze through that part. But what is more important, having worked in that market for 20 years, is to show what a land of contrast and complexities India is. So I'm going to dwell some time on that. What are those unique insights which actually drive India? And then go on to a section which is a key takeouts for, for brands. We first debated whether we should have the picture of an elephant here, but then we thought we are on the road, slowly transforming and morphing from a huge, slow, gentle, ambling elephant into a, a more agile, fast, and sometimes needlessly furious tiger. Uh, <laughs> we haven't quite morphed into a tiger, but I think we are earning our stripes. Great. Like I said, 1.2 billion population. When we were growing up, the government, and I'm loosely translating from Hindi, had the slogan, us two, ours two, meaning that every family should only have two children. Uh, astounding that now with better economic facilities that this huge population, which at once is a bane of India, is also a huge market and it's made India much more attractive with better economic affluence. Uh, GDP galloping, chugging along at 7.5%. 72% uh, live in rural areas and they contribute 30% to the GDP. Brands are still trying to find out how to actually address this market, both in terms of infrastructure, they're really, really getting their hands around this particular problem. <clears throat> in the next three slides, I'll be taking you through the transition of India in GDP terms. India used to contribute 19% agriculture to the GDP, but slowly, now look at manufacturing, it's now 26% of India's GDP comes from manufacturing, and now, 55%, and what I'm showing you is in a small town in Mysore, this is the Infosys Infotech Park. India now contributes, 55% of India's contribution to GDP comes from services. Uh, 